الأحكام التنصيلية. But understanding the deen, the entire deen is through seeking the knowledge of the deen from those who have the knowledge of the deen. That's what the Prophet sallallahu told us, and that's what the Sahaba, Ridwanullahi tabaraka wa ta'ala alayhim ajma'ina told us. I gave an example of Jabir ibn Abdullah who traveled for a month to see Abdullah ibn Unais because there was a hadith he heard Abdullah ibn Unais had and heard from the Sahab, from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And those who came after them was the same way. The scholars, uh, one of the scholars, Abu Hatim, rahmatullahi alayhi, his son, Abdul Rahman, when he uh, talked about his father, how much he loved to read and study and teach. He said whenever his father was eating, he would have him, Abdul Rahman, reading for him because he was eating. If he searched for something in the house, he said, I follow him and I read. When he goes to the bathroom, I am by, I'm outside reading for him. He's inside the bathroom, but he doesn't want to miss a second of his life. He said even on his deathbed, we were asking him some questions about ilm al-hadithi wa ghayr. He said he was answering to us until he lost his, his tongue. When he lost the tongue, he couldn't talk anymore. He was using his eyes to say, yes, you're correct, or no, you're not correct. Sufyan, rahmatullahi Sufyan al-Hawri, Amir al-Mu'minina bin hadithi on his deathbed, people came to visit him. And he heard a hadith. When he heard the hadith, then he was looking for his qalam to write what he heard. One of them said, yeah. Even at this very moment, he said, hasan. It is something good. Hasan. I heard something good. If I die while writing, I have I'm, I'm, I'm dead trying to write something that is good. Meaning, even on his deathbed, he wanted to know more. And he was among the greatest scholars of, of his time. But this, my beloved brothers and sisters, requires courage. Sometimes we want to prioritize, give more of our time to what is more important for this life and what is more important in the life to come. And there is nothing more important than our day. Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib, when he was asked, what is courage? What is courage? He said, patience of an hour. You know, when I know that this is the best thing to do, Shaitan will come and say something else. <coughs> My nafs will come and say something else. But if you wait for a minute, it will go. Meaning what Shaitan brings to me to take me away from the path is taif or taif. Taif is what you see when you, when you sleep. It takes just a minute and it goes. Or ta'if, it's like the Nasim al hawa You know, you want to say something bad, you just keep your nerves, it goes. You want to do something bad, just take yourself for a minute, you will see how it changes. That's why Allah says that shaitan is not that powerful. It's not. Inna kayda shaitani kana da'ifa. So we are way more powerful than shaitan. He's our enemy. And he will be our enemy forever. I heard one of our scholars, Muhammad ibn al-Hasan, uh, he says, there will be no second in your life that shaitan is going to be your friend. Don't expect it. Because Allah says, Inna shaitana lakum adu, So, 
when we think, my beloved brothers and sisters, that is Bala, it's not really Bala. When we see somebody is sick, somebody is poor, somebody doesn't want, doesn't have what he wants, that's not necessarily Bala. Bala is al jahlu bi wa adam tawfiq li taatillahi tabaraka wa taala. The worst Bala is the Bala in our day. When we do not know our deen, or when we do not obey, as Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala tells us. So first of all things is to try our best to understand the Qur'an. لِأَنَّ الْقُرْآنَ هُوَ أَصْلُ الْأُصُولِ وَقَاعِدَةُ أَسَسَةِ الدِّينِ بِهِ صَلَاحُ الْأُمُورِ الدُّنْيَوِيَّةِ وَالدِّينِيَّةِ وَالْأُخْرَوِيَّةِ my beloved brothers and sisters, if we do not understand what is in the Quran, and we all know that the Quran is a letter from Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, it is like you receive a letter from the king, and you hold the letter, put it in a high position, you know, maybe you read it, but you don't understand, maybe you don't even read it, or if you read it and understand it, you don't follow what the king says in the letter that will save you or will not save you. What is the use of that letter? What is the use of the Quran if we just recite to recite? If we don't even know sometimes how to recite. If we don't do the tadabbur of the Quran. If we don't do, have the fahm of the Quran. If we don't have the understanding of the Quran. Abu Darda says, we were with Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Kunna ma'a Rasulullah. صلى الله عليه وسلم فخص ببصره إلى السماء ثم قال هذا أوان أن يختلص العلم من الناس حتى لا يقدروا منه على شيء. That's that's very serious. That the knowledge will be removed from people. How? زيادة ابن لبيد الأمصاري said كيف يختلص منا وقد قرأنا القرآن كيف how take how can it be taken from us and we read the Quran for والله لا نقرأ أنه ولا نقرأ أنه نساءنا وأبناءنا والله we read the Quran and we teach the Quran we will teach the Quran our to our 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 women and our kids and then he said فقال هكذا أمك يا زياد I, I, I thought you were from the Fuqaha of Medina. But don't you know that here's Hadihi Torah will Injil Torah and Injil are here and the Yahudi wa Nasara Fama that Tugni Anhu Jill doesn't benefit them anything. They have it. They just sing about it. They just but in that whatever in the Torah they didn't they didn't take use of it. <coughs> Ziyad, uh, uh, Jubayr said, when I met Ubadah ibn Samit, I told him what Abu Dada said. He said, he spoke the truth. And he told him, let me tell you the first knowledge that will be taken, removed from us, from people. <coughs> al Kushur, he said. Ala sadaqa Abu Dada, in shi'ta la uhaddiha naka bi awwali ilmin yurfa'u minan nasi. al Kushur. We are in the masjid. We pray five times a day, but we always have the same problem in prayer. Why? Because of lack of hudur and lack of khushur. Because prayer is, is a fault. Without, that's why we're here. Juma, everybody is in the masjid because we have to be in Juma, in the masjid. But the regular days, we have five, ten, fifteen, less. Because it's not necessary to us. But if we neglect to that, we're going to neglect to bigger than that. So, having the book with us, which is the Quran, but having not enough understanding of it, having the teachings of the Prophet and and not understanding it, it's a big problem of the Ummah. People fight for everything because of what act of ikhtilaf, which is natural. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala says, وَلَا يَزَالُونَ مُخْتَلِفِينَ إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ رَبُّكَ وَلِذَلِكَ خَلَقَهُمْ 
if Tilab is not well, you and your brothers, you don't think the same way. Your children don't think the same way. When you have all the tools also to drive ahkam from Al-Quran and Sunnah, you don't do it the same way the other scholars do so. This is why the scholars have some differences in their ijihadat, um, fiqhiyya.